Emery. I'm a home improvement and lifestyle expert. What makes me an expert, you wonder? I spent 17 years in-house at Home Depot telling the product stories for every product in that store and online. So I know home improvement. Now I tell stories on my home, on my own, nationwide on television. You can check me out here on my YouTube channel. I post those here. Um, and I also make videos because I love talking about home improvement products and I know a lot, so I might as well put all this knowledge to good use. So today we're gonna talk about Toolbox 101. Because one thing people always ask me is, what do I really need in my toolbox? So I've got the nine things that you've got to have in your toolbox, and let's get started with number one, a screwdriver. I prefer a screwdriver set, because you're gonna use it, do anything from opening up a paint can, to um, getting off the back of the little battery cover on all those, all those toys for your kids with the screws that are super small. So I like to get a screwdriver set and you're gonna wanna have one that's got an ample amount of flat and Phillips head, Phillips heads in there for you. So this one by General Tools is one that I really like because all of the heads are actually in, they store it in the body of the screwdriver. So it's really easy. It also has this little ratcheting system. So it basically will assist whether you're tightening or loosening. But um, this set comes with, and it comes with a little one as well. So like I mentioned, for those little itty bitty projects that you need to do to the larger ones, a screwdriver set is really great that has an ample amount of Phillips and flathead, like I said. I also love an electric screwdriver because it does all the work for you. This one's by Skill, it's four volts, so it easily just charges back up. And as you can see here, you literally will just turn the cuff to the right or to the left for tightening or loosening, so you don't have to do it manually by hand. And they've got these little uh, work lights built in here, so you can actually see it illuminate your project for you. So an essential screwdriver is number one on the list. Now let's talk about number two, a hammer. I recommend getting a hammer with a rubber grip because that way when you're actually hammering things in, the grip is gonna absorb the shock, not your hands. Um, I also like these small ergonomic ones for me myself because I can get a really good grip on it. And it's got a metal tip here so I can put my screw right in there, line it up and I'm good to go. I don't have to carry multiple things. Say I'm hanging a picture high on a ladder. Um, obviously, those of you that are, that are a little more avid DIYers are going to want to get a full-size hammer for larger projects like fences or constructing things. So hammer is number two on the list. Number three is a pliers. Now you can go out and get a, a plier set, but I recommend getting a locking adjustable pliers. This is called a plier wrench. This one's by Sunex. See how big it can get here. So this is for when you're clamping, you need to clamp onto something, you need to tighten something, something just won't come loose. That's what you're gonna use this pliers for, a plier wrench. Okay, so now that we're on the topic of wrench, we're gonna talk about now what I, what I call an adjustable wrench. So this is known as a crescent wrench, and this again is multiple in one. So this way you can tighten, loosen bolt, it has the screw right in here, so you'll just loose, loosen it and tighten it. Just a great way to um, basically tighten and loosen things, like I said, so pretty straightforward. Then now for number five, go for a tape measure. You wanna get a good tape measure. You wanna know if that furniture is gonna fit in the room or say you're measuring your blinds. So, you know, obviously you've got your traditional tape measures here. I've got this one by General Tools. It's a laser measure. So you literally will push it up, push it one time, a red light will go the distance, um, a little laser level, a little laser dot will go the distance, and then you push it again, and whatever you were pointing at, uh, the measurement will come up here in this LCD screen. So super easy, it makes it great. Not, not measuring ish, which I always tend to do and things, then things don't fit. Um, and talking about my tendency for ish brings us to number six on the list, which is a level. So this is gonna help you hang a flat screen, a shelf, a photo, anything, just super easy, great to have on hand. Um, also great to have on hand is number seven on the list. Who's guilty of getting a lot of Amazon packages delivered? Mm, 
or just anything else that you need to open with a utility knife. Just a great thing to have, even just has a, a razor blade on there if you need to get things loose with a razor blade. You know, you got a little gook left on your mirror, the tag that's there. Um, so I like it. I like this one. It's got built-in storage and a rubber handle, so it's super easy to use. And then number eight on the list, I hope you have this in your emergency preparedness kit, but a really good flashlight and an LED one to boot, so it's gonna last you for a while. You know, this is good for sewing, screwing, nailing, any other various other DIY projects that you wanna have on hand. So that's number eight. And then number nine on the list, I'm kinda of cheating a little bit. I just call it other, but those are like, this is gonna be like the little things that you need in your toolbox, like work gloves, super glue, some extra nails and screws. I even suggest some duct tape and WD-40 because you know, those the, just having those things on hand when you need them are so helpful. So now that you have your top nine things, you need somewhere to store them. So there's a couple different options for you. You either can get a, a toolbox, which we all know, Toolbox 101, um, which I prefer here, as you can see, because it's got all these different places to store things here. Um, you know, like Allen wrenches. I didn't put Allen wrench on the list because usually when you buy something, an Allen wrench comes with it. But here's different uh, screw heads for the screwdrivers here on the top. And then you can, you know, it's got usually different, like a shelf, like a removal shelf. So you can just store a bunch of stuff down there, whatever you want, just throw it in the toolbox. They also have bags with straps, so if you're gonna be moving around. Um, and also, so for those of you that are kind of watching that are new to the toolbox world, they do have these free prefabricated kits that you can get. I actually got this one on Amazon. This one was 20 bucks on Amazon. I'll have a link down below. Um, and also to a, a couple other toolboxes that I like. I also have this one too that's in our, it's on our Home Depot orange here. But you know, like I said, you can go to Amazon, go to Home Depot, go to Lowe's, go to Target. They'll have a prefabricated kit. The only difference is you're not gonna get really high quality tools. Like for example, I talked about a couple general tools tools. They've been around for a hundred years. They know how to make tools. You're gonna buy a tool, that tool's gonna last you. These kits, the tools might only last a year or two, but then you just replace whatever breaks for you. And then last but not least, dun dun dun. <laughs> a power drill. You've got to invest in a power drill. You can get one so affordably these days. Definitely, definitely get one with a lithium ion battery. The advances in lithium ion technology are just amazing. A lot of these um, a lot of these tools have a brushless motor now, which basically means there's no friction in the motor, so they're going to last you a really long time. Um, and it's just a great, uh, anything, any project you're gonna do, it literally takes the time off of it. You know, it can do everything from drill holes to drive screws, you have attachments for standing, for grounding, it does so much. So make sure you invest in a, in a power drill to help you get the job done. I got this one here from, from Skill With Me. I like it, they've got, it's the power core line and they've got a little USB jump start here in my, in my battery here. So like say I'm reading directions off my phone and I wanna keep it charged or my iPad while I'm doing the project, it's just super handy. And then they have power assist where you can literally just push a button and it'll give you a 30 minute charge. But just go out there, there's a ton of great, you know, DeWalt, Milwaukee, Nikita, right? I mean, whatever, whatever works for you, um, just go out and invest in a nice power drill. I'll have some links down below to some others that I like as well. And if you have any questions on anything Toolbox 101 or anything home, home related, please leave a comment down below. I am happy to answer anything. Also, you can go to bethebesthome.com and, and hit me up, reach out to me there. Um, and watch some of my news stations here. They're a little bit shorter, but I've got a myriad of topics. And hey, make sure you subscribe because this one was a little functional toolbox 101. We got it done, but we also do other, uh, I do other TV spots where I have a lot of fun or YouTube spots. So thanks so much for watching. Thanks for following along. More to come.